Hey everyone, welcome. Today we're tackling Leet Code Problem 2197, Replace Non-Co-Prime Numbers in Array. It sounds a bit math-heavy, but don't worry, we'll break it down step-by-step step into a really intuitive solution. Let's get started. Alright, here's the official problem description. The main idea is that we're given a list of numbers. We need to find any two numbers that are next to each other, and are non-co-prime. When we find a pair like that, we replace them with a single new number, their least common multiple, or LCM. We just keep doing this, until we can't find any more adjacent non-co-prime pairs. So what's the end goal here? We want to simplify the array. We scan through it, looking for neighbors that don't get along, mathematically speaking. When we find them, like the 6 and 4 you see here, we merge them into a single number. We keep doing this until every number is co-prime with its immediate neighbors. The final simplified array is our answer. Okay, let's quickly go over the two main rules. First, how do we know if two numbers should be merged? We check if they are non co -prevent. This just means they share a common factor other than one. A simple way to check is to calculate their greatest common divisor, or GCD. If the GCD is bigger than one, they're non co -prime. Second, what's the merge operation? When we find a non co -prime pair, we replace them with their least common multiple, or LCM. So for 6 and 4, their LCM is 12. That's the whole process. Let's walk through an example to see this in action. We start with our list. First we see 6 and 4 right next to each other. Their GCD is 2, so we merge them into their LCM, which is 12. Now our list starts with 12, followed by a 3. The GCD of 12 and 3 is 3, so they're non-co-prime 2. We merge them, and their LCM is still 12. Next up, we check our new 12 against the number 2. The GCD is 2, so we merge again, and the LCM is, you guessed it, 12. Okay, now we check 12 and 7. Their GCD is 1, so they are co-prime. We leave them alone and move on. How about 7 and 6? Also co-prime. Finally we look at the last pair, 6 and 2. Their GCD is 2, so we merge them into their LCM, which is 6. And that's our final list. So you might have noticed something important in that walkthrough. When we merge two numbers, the new number might need to be merged with the one that came before it. This creates a chain reaction backwards. Trying to manage this in place in the original array can get messy. A much cleaner way is to use a structure that naturally handles this last in first out logic. And that's a stack. We can build our final list. And every time we add a new number, we'll check it against the one we added right before it. Merging them as many times as we need to. So here's the full algorithm, it's pretty straightforward. We'll start with an empty list, which will act as our stack. We then go through the input numbers, one by one. For each number, we first just add it to our result list. Then comes the magic. We start a loop that keeps running as long as there are at least two items in our result, and the last two are non-co-prime. Inside this loop, we just pop those two numbers off, calculate their LCM, and push that new combined number back on. This loop ensures that all necessary backward merges happen before we move on to the next number from the input. Alright, here's the complete Python code for this approach. You can see it follows our plan exactly. We have our helper functions for GCD and LCM at the top. Then the main function iterates through the numbers and uses that while loop to handle the merging on our result list. Let's break down the key parts. First up, the math helpers. For the greatest common divisor, we don't need to write it from scratch. Python's built-in math library gives us one for free, which is great. For the least common multiple, there's a well-known formula that uses the GCD. We just multiply the two numbers together, and then divide by their GCD. We use integer division here, to make sure we get a whole number. Now for the call logic. After adding a new number to our result list, we enter this while loop. The condition checks if there are at least two numbers to compare. We grab the last two, which we call X and Y, Y quenon. We calculate their GCD. If it's greater than 1 it means they're non-co-prime and we have to merge them. So we pop both of them off, calculate their LCM, and append that new value. If their GCD is 1, they're co-prime. The chain reaction is broken, so we use break to exit the while loop and move on to the next number in the original input list. So how efficient is this solution? For time complexity, we process each of the n numbers in the input list. The GCD calculation is the most expensive part of the loop, and its speed depends on the size of the numbers, which we can call m. So the overall time is roughly order n times log m. For space, our result list could, in the worst case, hold all n numbers if none of them ever get merged. This gives us a space complexity of order n. 
So to wrap things up, the big takeaway here is that for problems where actions can cascade backwards through a sequence, thinking about a stack is a fantastic starting point. Our entire complex problem really boiled down to just adding elements to a list and making sure the end of that list was always fully merged and stable. And finally, using simple helper functions for the math kept our main code clean and easy to understand. If you enjoyed this problem and want to keep practicing, the learning doesn't have to stop here. I've organized all my video solutions into handy playlists. Whether you're looking to grind through more leap code easy, medium or hard problems, or you want to master a specific topic like sliding window or dynamic programming, I've got a playlist for you. It's the perfect way to focus your study sessions. Go to the playlist tab and find a playlist that fits your goals. Hope this leap code solution breakdown made sense. If it helped, give that like button a click, maybe subscribe for more, or drop a comment if you have questions. Make sure to turn on the notification bell so you know straight away when I upload a video because I upload videos daily. This channel doesn't make any money from sponsorships or ads yet, so if you're feeling generous, there's always the Boba Fund. Keep coding and I'll catch you in the next one.